I'm Chris Duarte. And I'm Ian Dexter. Welcome to Around the Mountain in 90 seconds. Can I get two claps and a Ric Flair? <laughs> Woo! Let's go. <laughs> volleyball team took care of business this week, beginning with a sweep of Walla Walla on the road on Thursday. Then in the match of the night on Friday, the Mountaineers hosted number eight College of Idaho, sweeping the Yotes in front of the home crowd. Madison Garley, who's the NAIA leader in blocks per set, posted 16 more over the weekend and now leads the conference by 27 blocks. The Mountaineers next host Oregon Tech on Friday and Southern Oregon on Saturday for homecoming weekend. We hope to see you there. Men's soccer split two games this past weekend against Carroll and Providence versus Carroll, Aldo Rivas and Steven Beaudry scored for EOU in route to the 2-0 shutout. On Saturday, Carroll struck first, but Ethan Ronquillo tied it up in the 72nd. The game went into double overtime, and with four minutes in the second overtime remaining, Carroll scored on a deflection for the own goal victory. This weekend, they are on the road against Southern Oregon and OIT. The women's soccer team continued its strong play, defeating Carroll 2-0 on Friday and Providence 3-2 on Saturday. With the wins, EOU is now 4-0 in conference play to start the season. Natalie Mitchell had two goals over the weekend and now leads the team with four. Chelsea Nickel had the game-winning goal on Providence on a beautiful 31.5-yard direct kick. The blue and gold soccer teams go on the road for the first time in conference play, visiting Southern Oregon and Oregon Tech. In cross-country news, the number eight men's team finished first among CCC teams for a fourth place finish, while the women placed ninth out of 17 teams. Nick Mask and Thomas Murrell III finished ninth and 13th respectively to lead the blue and gold. While on the women's side, Rachel Rowley paced the Mountie, finishing 15th overall. Both squads are back in action on October 14th at the Luke and Clark Invitational. Coming out of their bye week, the EOU football team returns home after nearly a month away from the Grand. The Mounties host Montana State Northern for homecoming on Saturday at 6 p.m. We hope to see everyone there, so be sure to buy your tickets early online by visiting eousports.com. That's a wrap for us here at EU Athletics. Join us next week as we take you around the mountain in about 90 seconds. For more info, visit us at eousports.com.